thank you all for coming. Uh, I'll repeat some of the features I find interesting in this lens, and then I'll present my first results. I have no financial interest in this presentation. Uh, as we know, presbyopia is a global health issue, and we have several uh, solutions for it, and this is because none of them is perfect. Uh, and I find it interesting that nowadays monovision is still used much more than multifocal IOLs, even though we know it has uh, its own problems. And this is because we st we're still looking for the, f f uh, the perfect IOL, both for the patient and both for the doctor. Um, I'll just repeat some of the, the characteristics of the ray one that I think are really interesting. First of all is this very even light distribution between distance and then the rest of 50% for intermediate and near. And then uh, it behaves like a monofocal IOL from a pupil uh, uh, bigger than 4.5 millimeters. Second is the possibility of having a trifocal preloaded IOL. And third of all is that having zero aberration, we gain in contrast sensitivity. We may gain some depth of field, but we don't lose if we have any tilt and decentration, as Dr. Fernandez said. Uh, and then I like the low refractive index and the, the edge design that may reduce some dysphotopsia. Uh, we have a very wide distribution of dioptric powers, as we can see here and we have a very small incision uh, and I'll just skip these videos because we saw them. I would like to highlight in this again in the end uh, the stability. So it's very easy to implant. This is a 2.2 incision and then the stability of the lens when we remove the viscoelastic is perfect and it centers itself in the back. Uh, I'll just present some data. We took a look back at the every, uh, our last 30 patients with each of the three other trifocals in the market and we only have five patients with the right one. Uh, and please look at the follow-up. It's three months for every other lens and the right one has an average of only three weeks. Of course, the refractive results are good nowadays with every IOL. We don't have huge problems with biometry. And if, if we take a look here at the binocular visual acuities, these are measured at near at 40 centimeters and at intermediate at 70. So this may favor some IOLs over the others, but they're all pretty good for distance intermediate. In our hands, we don't have such good results with the Atelisa. But here, I think the story is much more interesting because we saw the theoretical reading distances of the right one. And we may argue we, here we only have five patients. But actually, the, the focus curve is similar to the panoptics. And we would as, expect the reading distances to be similar to the fine vision. But anyhow, we have pretty good vision over 0.1 logmar across all the defocus uh, distances. And of course, we may argue, uh, looking at some mid-off lenses, that they may have advantages. And this is symphony and many well curves, and this is the right one curve. And of course, we gain other things, but we lose near vision with the adopt lenses. And these are our results regarding contrast sensitivity. They're all pretty similar but they're not very far nowadays from the normal for a, a, an age match population. And in mesopic conditions, it's the same. Uh, this is what I found most interesting looking back at this data. This is the McCallum uh, questionnaire. And uh, if you see the red one as the lowest frequency, severity, and bothersomeness of this photopsia, and we only have three weeks, so uh, the other groups had time to narrow adapt. And the, here we have very low incidence with only three weeks of narrow adaptation. We only have five patients, so probably the statistical power is not here, but I find this to be very interesting. So in conclusion, I like to have the preloaded platform. We already know the Ray-1 platform from the other lenses. The light loss is only 11%. 
uh, and the light distribution is very even. Uh, we got in these first five patients excellent visual outcomes, excellent visual quality, and a low incidence of photic phenomena. So I think the, the outcomes in the future will be very interesting.